Hi, welcome to Uncat Line session where we talk about Dynamo scripting. My name is John Varijn. I am the technical consultant for infrastructure. So the tool we're going to do is made by Dynamo and Civil 3D. With this tool, we're going to transform 2D lines, 2D polylines actually, to a 3D pipe network. Before I'm going to go to the tool, I need some requirements. One of the requirements is in a drawing, you have, of course, your 2D polylines, a parts list, and a surface. For the Dynamo packages, I need to have Civil 3D toolkit, data shapes, and the Dynamo Iron Python versions installed on those tools. And I have an Excel list CSV file where I have the naming I applied into. The tool is executed in three steps. The first step is creating the pipe network naming and the site naming. So therefore we need those CSV file where you can make your pipe and sites. The tool itself will select a parts list, will set settings like a new and existing elements. We will define a tier where we have a situation on ground level or maybe below or above, for example, on viaduct or tunnels or bridges. And of course, the tool can apply one or multiple. The second execution is actually transforming the pipes. So we're going to select a layer where we have the object on. We're going to select the site where we want to publish our alignment and future lines. We're going to create, or actually we're going to edit the network in this one. From the network, we're going to select the families, the part sizes from structures and the pipes. And we can set the surface and the cover depths. And the last execution is that we connect our pipes and structures to a header with the tools by selecting the network. How the tool works is just Civil 3D manage Dynamo. I already have started a drawing with unlines, with polylines in where I have just a new proposal and a polyline. And I'm going to just select those three elements. So this tool is the first step, select your parts list. So I'm going to go for today's full water. And that will be an existing element and will be on the tier zero. I'm going to select and set my layers, not set, but select. So I'm going to go for drainage, full sewer, and maybe I will have full sewer private. The tool is run. We can see now in our sites, we have the name in and looking at the pipe network, we also have those two naming in. Second tool I will select my layer proposal. I can add or rename my layer. My name will be used to do setting layers from the side naming, uh, feature line naming, alignment naming. In that case I will select my site where I want to publish my items in. I will select the select network. I'll select my surface. I'm going to check or uncheck the boxes for alignments. And I'm going to set the structures, depths, and tolerances.
I will select my part family for the pipes. Um, I will go for the manhole type B. I will select the structure size. I will select my pipe size. My elements are drawn. And looking at my tool, you will see there are my elements. This element is, of course, not dynamically attached to each other. So I will run script three. I will select my full sewer and I'm going to press finish. If I now click on select, you will see that my pipe network is now set to my elements. I'll have a future line in and I have an alignment in. Of course, we can play with the caps. In this case, you can place or not place an element in. So we can run the same tool. Only this time I will select another layer. I will select a different network. I will go for different pipes. Different sizes, you can see what we have. There you are, you can see it's in. I have checked the box because the size is not too big enough for. So I'm gonna press run for the third. And I'll select my private and finish. And now my pipes are connected to the structures and everything is dynamically. The only thing I need to do is to check or everything is correct by the design, change the inverts in that case, and you will have your tool ready. Thank you.